Chazza Moyer and welcome to Sway TV. I'm so excited to get started today. We're gonna have some fun on the street and we're doing Workout Wednesdays here on Amazon Live. And she is fresh off the set of Shark Tank. It's such an honor to be here today, so thank you. We are gonna be talking all about parenting. This is our tribe of women. What is the key to a successful business? And it's Brad Grunberg. Hi, Brad. This is a game changer. There's a Tesla. You can actually buy a car on Amazon. That is so crazy. The perfect gift. Yes, we got our Drake's cake break. So awesome. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your zoo light. This is fun. Here we go. I'm so excited. I can't even stand it. That was very dramatic. Oh, Naveen says this is better than Netflix. So happy new year 2021. Let's bring it in with a bang. Two, one. So grateful for you guys and for Sway TV. I've had such a great time with all of you. We'll see you soon. Until then, let's sway. 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 Good morning, Amazon, and welcome to Sway TV. I'm Candice Keita, and I'm your host today. And well, first off, I want to say thank you so much for joining us here. We're coming to you live from almost sunny Los Angeles here on a very early Monday morning. I want to know, first off, you know, you can leave comments, questions, suggestions right here in the chat box. And because we're coming to you live, I can answer back to you live. So you guys, I'm, I'm really curious, what plans do you have uh, for the week? Since it's Monday morning, what are you doing? What are you doing for the rest of the week? How was your weekend? And thank you so much for taking the time to join us here at Sway TV. And if you haven't already done so, just go ahead and hit that follow button. That's right, hit that follow button and follow us here for great programming, great shows, awesome hosts. And you know, if you missed one of our episodes, say you love watching uh, Shay, Shay J, and her terrific, awesome morning workouts. Well, no worries. All you need to do is go to swayreplay.com. That's swayreplay.com to catch all of your favorite shows, past episodes, hosts, and that way you don't miss anything. Oh, and while you're there, don't forget to check the carousel for all the amazing products that your hosts have found for you. Some great deals, or whether or not you're watching us here live right now, or on Sway Replay, or even at our podcast at amazonmusic.com, that's right, that's one of the things that I think makes us a little bit different is that we have a podcast. So whether you're listening to us, watching us live like right now, or watching the replays at swayreplay.com, don't forget to check the carousel for amazing, great products. So you guys, I wanna hear from you. I wanna see what you're up to. Here we're at the Sway TV house, and you know, so many people ask us, we get so many comments in the comment section, what is the Sway TV house like? Because you may see the terrific workouts with, like I said, Shay J or Fit Over 50 uh, fitness enthusiast, Doug Jeffrey, and they're outside in the Sway TV house. So, so let me just, it, it, let me give you a visual description of it. So there's a beautiful pool outside. We've got a great workout area. And then um, if you were to look over, like right now, I'm looking, I'm in my boudoir getting ready area and I can look out, the sun is coming up right now over Los Angeles, just getting that pee, little peeking of, of sunlight coming through over the trees. I can see a little bit of Santa Monica. I can see down to Malibu where the ocean is. And since we're a little bit high, I, I can see through the canyons. Um, it, it's just so beautiful. And, uh, and we will show you more and more of the Sway TV house as we go. 
Um, and I just love coming here. It's such a place to relax and enjoy the morning with you. Now, what are we going to be doing today? Well, since it's morning, I love to get ready with you guys every morning. So right now, <clears throat> excuse me, today, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. That happens to everybody in the morning. Um, today, I really, I thought we'd talk about um, beauty in regards to pretty hands and feet. And the reason why I thought of this, you know, you guys, it was so interesting. My girlfriend's husband said a very interesting thing the other day that made me uh, stick it into my um, mental notebook in, in, in my head. And that was, he said, no matter what a lady looks like in her face, I can always tell how old she is by, does anybody out there know? Please leave a comment in the comment section if you know. If not, I'm gonna tell you, by her hands. He said, you can always tell by the back of somebody's hands how old they really are, no matter what their face looks like. So that made me think, you know what, ladies, we need to focus on pretty hands and feet, don't we? Because sometimes I feel like that's a place that often gets neglected because we put lotions and under eye creams and neck creams and a day um, sunscreen and a nighttime moisturizer, all this stuff. But do we really focus on our hands and our feet, you know, and things like elbows and knees and other places on our body that can get dry and um, the skin can build up, therefore making your skin kind of look dull and lifeless as a result, it can age you or should I say it can reveal your age and maybe uh, you might not want to do that. So anyways, today I thought we'd focus on pretty hands and feet. And also I feel like it's such a great time for what we talk about, especially in the morning. And you guys leave me a comment because I, I want to know too, if you have time for this, but me time, I think it's so important that you take time out for yourself in your busy schedule. And I know a lot of us have children, husbands, full-time jobs, have to commute, busy schedules. And I know a lot of times in the morning when you wake up, you're like, girl, I don't have time for myself. I just got to get out the door and I got to get the kids out the door and the pets fed and, and I get it. But I also know it's really important to take that, even if it's five or 10 minutes for yourself in the morning to compose yourself to compose your thoughts and kind of focus on how you want to create that day and how you want that day to go. Because I think if you set it in the morning and you know how basically you're going to get from point A to point B to point C throughout the day and the more organized you are, I think the better it's going to go because you won't be frazzled. You won't be uh, confused and running a mile a minute because because you're starting late you know, set the time to really focus on that day and set time for yourself. So you want to eke out a little bit of time if you can in the morning and a little bit of time at the end of the day, like maybe when the kids go to bed and the house gets quiet and the pets are asleep and, and you have a little bit of time for yourself. It's so important, I think, to set that mindset and to get yourself centered. I think that's a lot of being able to focus in on the rest of the day. You know, we had a, a, a great guest, and I hope she actually comes in uh, this morning, Rosalinda, and she was telling me uh, last week that she had um, six children. So she's a mom of six kids, and needless to say, she's very busy. And I said, well, when do you have time for yourself? And she told me, I go, do you do it in the morning? And she goes, I make time for myself in the morning and at night. And I said, wow, with six kids, that's really terrific. And she goes, you know, it was necessary that she needed that because I think if she focuses in and centers herself properly, therefore she's able to give more of herself and the, the best part of herself to her kids and her family and her husband and her pets and her job and everything that we do as busy women these days, right? Because I think that, you know, a generation before it was primarily uh, a one income household. And now I think most families, most parents work, kids are busy in school. And before you know it, don't you feel like the day just goes by like that and it's over? 
So if you don't take time to stop and reflect, it's, it's really important to do that because then I think you blink, 20 years have gone by and you'll be like, what was that? You know? So I think it's really, really important to uh, set time out for yourself. So anyways, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus in on pretty hands. I say pretty hands and feet because what we're gonna be doing with our hands is uh, can be repeated on the feet. Um, I didn't see that it was going to be possible for me to hold my feet up and do anything with you guys today. So I didn't think that you're going to be able to uh, focus in on my feet today. So instead, we're just going to do everything with my hands. And I started with, as you can see, bare hands. I haven't even put lotion on this morning. I haven't put nail polish on. Really from the hands to the elbow is what we're going to be working on today. But of course, I encourage you to repeat all of this. Uh, with your legs, with your feet, and a good time and a good place to do this, I always say, is um, when you're in the shower or when you're in the bath, because, well, a couple of reasons. One, it's so soothing and relaxing, and that's that good me time that we were talking about. And two, ideally, if you've been in the shower or the bath for a couple of minutes, the heat and the water uh, are going to loosen the dead skin cells off of your hands, your arms, the, the rough areas like your elbows and your feet and also the heel, the underside of your foot. And so that way, the things that we're going to be doing today are going to be all that more effective because you're going to be able to exfoliate and slough off all the dead skin cells and thereby it's going to reveal a smoother, youthful, uh, nicer skin to you. And um, that's what we were talking about. Like my best friend's husband had said, you know, you could always tell how old a lady is by her hands. He goes, I don't even look at the face. He goes, I look at the hands first. And he said, uh, the tops of the hands um, are very important right here. He goes, that's how you can tell how old somebody really is. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna defy old age today. We're gonna defy age and we're gonna defy what he said. And we're going to reveal a more youthful, more supple, beautiful hands and pretty feet uh, for you and for your you time that you can implement this into your you time. Now, whether you do it in the morning or whether you choose to do this at the end of the day, um, either way or both, if you're lucky, this is a great time for you. And I'm also going to be doing uh, um, a little bit of massage on my hands that you can also do on your feet for yourself and also a little bit of stretching. I think that's so important, especially if you have um, stiff joints, especially in the morning if you may wake up and feel like your joints are stiff. All it takes is five or ten minutes and you know some of these stretches I even like to do, oh, say you're sitting in the car and um, you're waiting for your kids to uh, get out of school and you're sitting in the parking lot. That can be uh, me time or you time too. And you can also take this me time and do some stretching exercises with your hands and your fingers in the car. So you can always use some time in the middle of the day, even if it's five minutes or 10 minutes, because if you have these little tiny increments of time throughout the day that you take for yourself, it doesn't have to be a lot of time in the morning, a lot of time at, at night. If you take these little pieces, five, 10, 15 minutes, they add up, don't they? So over the course of a day, maybe there's a way that you can have 30 minutes to yourself, 45 minutes to yourself, an hour, just by using these moments doing these exercises. You know, even for me, um, I find that even breathing exercises uh, center me, relax me, they increase my focus because I'm breathing in the good oxygen and holding it in there, letting it go through my system and then exhaling out the carbon dioxide. So this is another thing that you can do simply in the car when you're waiting, if you have children, or if you're sitting and say you're at your stand-up desk, if you have a stand-up desk at home in your home office, and you just need a moment to yourself in between Zoom meetings. 
because how many of us are on Zoom meetings now? I'd be really curious if you guys are watching right now, drop me a, a comment in the question section. Are you working remotely from home right now? Or are you commuting into the office? Because if you're commuting into the office, you can use that car time, of course. Audio books, you know, just being quiet, just sitting in silence is your time too. You know, always remember that. Just if you're sitting in the car, don't turn on the radio. You know, if you have a 20 or 30 minute commute, have you ever thought of just sitting in silence and enjoying that time for yourself to compose your thoughts? Uh, I think it's really important. And if not, say you're at home, uh, I personally have a stand up desk because I feel that it's good to be standing up a good portion of the day and moving around as opposed to be sitting down for eight to 10 hours a day. I, I personally don't think that's very healthy, but if you do have a sit, at, sit down desk at home, take the time every hour or so to stand up, to stretch and to exercise even if you can and move those joints. You know, when I was on a computer all the time, um, I used to be like this and I realized that, that uh, ergonomically it wasn't good. Um, and then also I felt like say, staying in one position the entire time, I was starting to have problems with my back and my neck. So if you just take the me time for five minutes on every hour in between your Zoom meetings to be able to just stop, stretch, do the small uh, uh, exercises that you can do, inhale that air, hold it in the lungs and push it out. I think that you'll feel energized, revived for that little tiny moment mentally and physically and it'll make you more productive I think in the next hour rather than sitting there and just continuously going without a break. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with a break because I'll think it'll make you as an employee more productive on the whole. So anyways, without further ado, let's go over here to the other camera. Hello, good morning, everybody. <laughs> Can you see me? If you're just joining in, good morning, Amazon, and welcome to Sway TV. I'm Candace Keita, I'm your host today, and we're broadcasting to you live. That's lot right, live right now on a Monday morning from almost sunny California. The sun is actually peeking up over the horizon right now. And wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I would love to hear from you. If you'd like, because we are coming to you live, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. And because we're live, I can respond to you right away. Tell me, what are your plans for today? Today is a Monday morning, the start of a brand new week. I'd love to hear from you. What are your plans for this week? And also, what did you do for yourself this weekend? I want to hear because I know that so many of us are so busy even on the weekends because we have children, family, maybe extended family, grandmas and grandpas that are with us, pets, husbands. So I know that we're always busy no matter what, if it's the weekend or the weekday. But tell me, what did you do for yourself? Did you take five or 10 minutes for yourself with a cup of coffee early in the morning, standing in your bathrobe, just relaxing? Did you go for a walk or a hike? Um, did you spend some quiet time by yourself? And you know, one of the most productive things that I think, that I, I think a lot of people are gonna be like, what? But, but I really do believe this. There's nothing wrong and don't feel guilty about taking a well-deserved nap. Now, I know this sounds funny, but for me, it was a long time that I was able to understand that because I wouldn't allow myself to take a nap if I was tired because, well, gosh darn it, I got stuff to do and I have responsibilities and obligations to other people. And I never felt like I had time to waste taking a nap. Well, let me tell you, I think it's one of the most important things. If your body is tired and you're sleepy and you need a nap, it's telling you something. You will become more revived and revitalized and energized and feel better. And I, I think your, your sense of well-being is going to be better overall if you just listen 
to what your body is saying at that time and go ahead and take that that nap it's not the end of the world and i think that you'll benefit from it so don't feel bad about taking naps so anyways we are here live and if you haven't already done it go ahead and please hit that follow button just hit that follow button to follow us here at sway tv for awesome programming great guests and if you haven't already also check out uh sway tv on podcasts that's right we have a podcast that you can listen to us on amazon music and if you've missed some of our shows don't worry don't stress out over things like this all you need to do is go to swayreplay.com that's swayreplay.com and you can catch all of our past episodes with our great hosts well and say you missed um fit over 50 with doug jeffrey and you want to see some of his great workouts and also his awesome nutritious healthy recipes don't worry just go to swayreplay.com and you can catch all of the great uh past episodes here at sway tv now today like i said earlier what we're going to be focusing on is pretty hands and feet ladies now why are you saying pretty hands and feet because a lot of times um when we do beauty we focus here right or we focus on our hair on our face but a friend of mine's a husband recently said something he goes you know no matter how old a lady may look here in order for me to tell you how old i really think she is i look here that's right he says he looks at people's hands and he said mainly the the front of the hand right here he goes because this will tell every single time so i thought you know what we really need to focus on this because a lot of times we just don't pay attention do we because i think we just get so busy and like i said earlier we focus on you know uh, day creams with a sunscreen night cream a neck cream an under eye cream we focus on all these things we focus on all these things but we don't a lot of times uh focus on our hands and so what i thought we'd do today is we would focus on exfoliating moisturizing a little bit of massage a little bit of stretching to take care of our hands our arms all the way down say to our elbows and also we want to focus and do the same things that we do up here in our hands and our arms and our forearms down onto our feet and uh, the reason why I'm, I'm just saying hands today for demonstration purposes but definitely when you're in the shower repeat the same thing on your feet and your heels and there's a lot of uh, dead skin that i think has a tendency to build up there that we want to be able to exfoliate and by doing that you're going to reveal the more beautiful soft supple youthful looking skin and then how you keep it youthful is to properly moisturize on a regular basis and that's what's going to make like my my best friend's uh, husband who said um, that you can always tell by somebody's hands well we're gonna defy that aren't we so I'm so excited um, so we're gonna take a break right now and we'll be back in a second with pretty hands and feet
good morning again and welcome Amazon to Sway TV. I'm Candace Keita, I'm your host today. And as I was saying earlier, what I thought we'd talk about today is pretty hands and feet, ladies. And the reason why I decided to uh, talk about this today, <laughs> it's so funny. My friend's husband said the other day, he said, you know, no matter what a lady looks like up here, if you really want me to tell you how old I think they are, I look here. That's right. He said mainly he looks at the top of somebody's hands and he's able to properly gauge their age. So I thought, you know what? That really made me think that we need to focus in on hands, uh, forearms, down to the elbow where uh, you might have dry skin, and also on the feet. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you some really quick and easy uh, techniques today on what to do with your hands. And then also, of course, you can always um, do this on your feet. And uh, what I was saying earlier is no matter what, you could do it any time during the day or at night, but the most uh, effective time to use exfoliation and lotion and all that um, is when you're in the tub or in the shower and then after. And the reason why is because when you're in the bathtub or the, or the shower and you've got warm water and you've got the humidity and the steam, uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna loosen the dead skin cells and it's gonna make them easier to exfoliate off. And by sloughing off, uh, slowing off the um, dead skin cells, you're gonna reveal uh, a new skin that's underneath um, and so it's going to be newer, fresher skin. It's easier to just simply take off when you're in the shower or you're in the bath. But today for our purposes, I can't be in the shower or the bath. And so I'm here, I've got a bowl of water and uh, we're going to show from my hands to my elbows. And then obviously you can go ahead and do the same techniques that we're going to be doing today um, with your feet and with your calves and your knees and other areas that might be dry, such as, like I said, your elbows and your knees. So anyways, before though we start, I also wanted to give you a little tidbit. So later on today, later on this morning, ladies, we're gonna have a, a very special guest that I'm gonna be interviewing. His name is Vince Spinato, and he wrote this amazing book, and it's called My Pursuit of Beauty. So I am so excited to be talking to him. He's a beauty phenom and he's going to be telling you all sorts of fun stories of his life in the beauty industry, where it's taken him. And it's taken him all over the world, obviously, but also um, his own personal journey of where it's taken him from a young man dealing with self-esteem issues and dealing with body dysmorphia all the way to the person uh, that he is today. And he feels like, you know, he's come full circle in this journey of understanding who he is himself. So we're going to be talking to him about this great book. And now this is not available yet, not available yet on Amazon, but he has, oh, and so I'm going to tell you in a moment, we go to break.
Good morning, Amazon, and welcome to Sway TV. I'm Candace Keita. I'm your host, and I'm broadcasting live. That's right, live on an early, early Monday morning here in Los Angeles, California, where the sun is just now starting to peek out over the hills. We're here live coming to you today from the Sway TV house. And you know, so many people ask us and, and leave questions and comments in the in the comment section, what is this way TV house like? Because you've seen little bits and pieces of it. So let me describe it to you as it is now on Monday morning. I am looking out over, I can see outside my window, I can see Malibu down there. It's beautiful. The sun is starting to peek up over the, uh, the horizon. I see a little bit of Santa Monica. And right now, if I look straight ahead, I can see the beautiful canyon. I'm looking over the canyons right now. And sometimes, one of the things that I like about being here is I've seen so much wildlife. I, I love animals and I've seen hawks that are swaying over the canyon and they get up in a, a current and I just see them lofting and and uh, I think they're red tail hawks I'm not sure but um, they're very beautiful so there's a lot of flora and fauna and wildlife out here as well beautiful palm trees that are swaying in the wind and uh, you know here in Los Angeles we've had so much rain last week so I'm really looking forward to a bright and sunny well even though it's brisk, it's it's still a nice sunny day, even if it's in the 50s though, right? You still appreciate it. Can you believe, everyone, leave a comment for me if you want. Can you believe that it's February? I don't even know what happened. It seems like it was the holidays just yesterday. We were celebrating the holidays, right? And now, two weeks from now, I think, it's going to be Valentine's Day. And it's another holiday, and I just can't believe it. So what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Have you thought about it yet? Better start thinking now, because I'm telling you, it's going to jump up really quick. And if you want some great ideas, don't forget to check out our carousel, because we always have such neat and interesting and fun little gifts there down in the carousel for your significant other, your hubby or your hubbyette, is that a word, <laughs> that you could get and our hosts have found them and they're really fun. So no matter what, if you're watching us live right now or if you listen to our podcast, our Sway TV podcast on Amazon Music, or if you're watching our replays at swayreplay.com, don't forget to check out the items in the carousel. They're so interesting and a lot of the items make your life simpler too. And I think that practical gifts, I actually prefer practical gifts, that's just me. I would rather have a gift that I'm gonna use all the time. And there are so many fun and interesting uh, gifts or gift ideas that we have for you for Valentine's Day. So be sure to check them out. Now today, if you weren't here earlier, um, what we thought we'd focus in our, in our, our pretty hands and feet. Now you might be thinking, why are we doing pretty hands and feet today, Candace? Well, let me tell you, usually we're focusing in on maybe our hair or maybe our face. But you know, the other day, my girlfriend's husband said a very interesting thing to me and I really made a mental note. And that was, he said, no matter what a woman looks like with her hair and her face, I can always tell her real age by her you got it by her hands and predominantly he said uh, the tops of her hands you can always tell how old a woman is and so i was like oh you know what we need to do something with hands and feet because it's a lot of times we're too busy and we focus so much on our face and our hair and creams and lotions and soaps and all sorts of stuff but um you know, definitely we need to focus there. Elizabeth E. Emerson, good morning. Thank you so much for following us today here at Sway TV. I appreciate it so much. How are you doing today? And uh, thank you for spending some time with us this morning. We'd love to hear a good morning question, comment, anything. How was your weekend? I'm curious, what did you guys do? 
I have to admit, if you were to ask me what I did, I spent a good deal of time in my bathrobe, to be honest. <laughs> but that's what we were just talking about, the importance of getting to uh, rest and relax, taking me time, taking really important me time, even if it's five minutes in the morning, you know, and 10 minutes at night, or if you're taking little increments in the car, even when you're dropping the kids off to school or waiting to pick them up, at least you have that little moment to yourself. I, and I think that's really, really important. And what we're talking about today is taking that me time a little bit in the morning or a little bit at night, just to simply take care of yourself. Because a lot of times we get wrapped up in our daily schedules and we forget to take that me time. Oh yes, thank you so much for following. You know, we um, love it when you follow. So if you haven't taken the time yet, just hit that follow button. That's right, just hit that follow button right now. And you know, we're gonna have a, a great time every single day, every single morning together. Could be your me time. Could be your me time indeed. Um, but me time, I also said earlier, is quiet time. Me time may also be when you're sitting in the car and say you're commuting to work for 20 or 30 minutes and you don't turn on the radio and you just sit in silence. Complete silence. And allow that time to reflect and center yourself for the day. Because I think that if you center yourself for the day, you can better give yourself the best self forward to others who could be your children, could be your husband, uh, could be extended members of your family, could be your community, and also the people that you work with. To be centered and to not you know, fly off the handle or to be short with people or short with your children and to be just a better version of yourself. And I think the only way that you can do that is not to be frazzled and flying off the handle and disorganized or rushing. I think it's really important to set that day at the beginning with organization. And even if it's five or 10 minutes in the morning for stretching or yoga, or even if you don't have time for anything like that, take a breath. Hold that breath in and then push that air out. Even if you can do that for yourself to kind of invigorate oxygenate your body, oxygenate that brain, stimulate that brain, taking in that air, holding it and pushing it out. I think that's a really good thing. And you know, you see that all the time repeated in Eastern philosophies and even sports like martial arts. You see the breathing, yoga, uh, and for fitness in general, even when you're doing calisthenics and you're in high school, didn't they always say, don't forget to breathe because you get so wrapped up, you literally don't breathe. If you don't breathe, you're not getting that oxygen. Not only does your body need the oxygen, but your brain needs the oxygen to think and to process and to be quick on your feet. You know, another thing that I think you need if you can, and I know some of us are running crazy, myself included, is to be able to get adequate sleep. Because I think if you don't get adequate sleep, that's going to affect everything, but even your beauty. You know, you need to be able to get enough sleep so in the morning you look energized and vitalized and revitalized and you feel good and you're ready to start that day. Because in the morning you may feel a little bit sleepy, wake up, but then at the end of the day, come two or three, you don't want to lose that energy. You don't want to have that lull that a lot of us have. And you want to be able to have smooth energy throughout the day. A lot of that is getting enough sleep. Uh, and, and also, I would say diet. I think a lot of... Uh, getting up and going is and, and keeping that energy up throughout the day is diet. So anyways, what I was saying earlier is I've got a little tidbit that I want to share with you because a little later on today in the morning, we're going to have a very special guest. I am so excited. He wrote this book. I'm getting it right now. It's Vince Spinato, My Pursuit of Beauty. Now, he is a beauty phenom, and he's well-known in the industry here in Los Angeles as a beauty expert. He's written a book that is so, well, it's informative, it's hilarious at moments, it's heartfelt. He talks about beauty, but what I, I, I also like about this book is he really went, he went full circle in his life, and he talks about um, 
being a, a not perfect person and how he's gone through so many challenges in his life and how he's been able to overcome them. Um, so it's, it's an incredible journey, if anything. So even if you're not particularly interested in beauty, this is just a great book. It, it's such an uplifting book. It's such a book that is based with positivity and how he's gone through the struggles and challenges and overcome these challenges in his life. So I would encourage everybody to read this. It's available on Amazon right now. And I have another thing. Now, this is not available yet on Amazon. So, but I wanted to show you, because it will be available on Amazon soon. This is also from Vince, and we're going to be talking to him later. He's going to be interviewed here live today. But this is his Vincenzo skincare line, ladies. I'm so excited. Look, I just wanted to show you the packaging first, just because I was so, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? This is so gorgeous. Now I'm gonna see if I can open this without all the contents falling out. If they do, please forgive me, I'll get them. Now look at this, isn't this amazing? This is Vince's skincare line. This is Vince Bonato. He is the author of My Pursuit of Beauty. Now I'm gonna take out these items one by one just to show you. Uh, this is such a luxury, high-end skincare line. So now I'm going to put the uh, box down. Now this is the ca Caviar and Diamond Lux Treatment um, Package. So let me just show you what you get. So first off, you get this Dual Active Micellular Fluid. This is the Caviar and Di Diamond Micellular Fluid. So you can use this and it, it, it takes off um, all your makeup. It soothes the skin and I can see it in here right now. Now today um, I'm going to demonstrate some of these products. Oh, okay. So anyways, I wanted to show a little hint of it for you. Now, once I said they're not on Amazon yet, but they are going to be on Amazon a little bit later. And of course, today in a couple of hours, we're going to have Vince Bonato on. Uh, the author of My Pursuit of Beauty, and he's going to be talking about, he has so many funny stories, and I'm not going to reveal them yet because I want him to tell them to you, but I was just reading so many hilarious, crazy, wacky stories that he talks about in his actual pursuit of beauty. So it's kind of neat because you're going to be reading about beauty, beauty tips, and Vince's life here in Hollywood as just a well-known beauty expert and so many people that he's run across and so many funny stories he has to tell you um, and one of I'll just give you a hint one involves a water slide believe it or not <laughs> one involves a water slide and um, young and the Re restless and and a Tory spelling and just all these funny crazy stories but anyways I'll let him tell you because it's gonna be a lot more fun coming from the person himself but I just wanted to let you know that yes, if you stay tuned a little bit later, Vince Bonanno himself is going to be coming on and he's going to be talking about what he's doing in his life right now. Interesting beauty tips for you ladies that he can tell you after all these years of being uh, a, a beauty, well-known beauty expert here in Hollywood. And of course, he's going to be talking about his book, My Pursuit of Beauty, and his upcoming skincare line that is a luxury skincare line and it will be available soon on Amazon. So if you guys would like to leave me a comment, you know we are coming live today to you from the beautiful uh, Sway TV house here located in Los Angeles, California. Sunny, soon to be sunny Los Angeles, California because we are on a Monday morning, very bright and early live. So if you wanna leave a question or a comment, please do because we are live, I can see it immediately, and I will respond back to you. So go ahead, uh, you know what? Leave me a comment. I wanna know what are you guys doing this morning? And thank you so much for spending this time with us this morning. You know, it's a great way to have me time, isn't it? To wake up every morning together 
and uh, we can we can put our energies together and, and feel centered uh, all of us together this morning so what we're gonna do like I said as I thought we'd start off with pretty hands and feet because you can always tell a lady's age by her hands so I'm just gonna be working up here obviously because I can't my foot cannot hoist up here but you can uh, obviously do the same things that I'm gonna be doing with my hands with your feet so the first thing that I like to do now this is a, a little beauty tip uh, if you ever are close to an Asian market, an Asian grocery store in your community, wherever you are, <clears throat> I like to get these. They're only a couple dollars. You'll find them in the beauty aisle. Whether you're in Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Southeast Asian store, you can usually find them. This is a small beauty razor. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. And they cost a couple dollars. And what I like to do with the beauty razor is the first thing I always like to do because we're talking about arms and I think that arms should be very feminine uh, and beautiful is I like to take the, the, the beauty razor and I'm going to show you all I like to do is sometimes we have a little bit of peach fuzz here, don't we? And sometimes I think it, it can be a little bit distracting. It's, it's not bad, but I, I do like to just um, be as polished as possible. So all I do is I take the beauty razor and very simply, I like to run the beauty razor down my arm. And by doing this, I am very lightly, I'm doing two things actually. I'm exfoliating my arm to remove some of the dead skin cells that I can usually see on the razor. And then also what I like to do is remove some of the, the little peach fuzz that you might have on your arm that maybe just like I said, it's a little bit distracting. It's nothing major, but I just like to do this for a very polished look and it only takes a couple seconds. So maybe, you know, once a week, I like to just go here. And then I use on this side too to make sure that I get all of my arm. There, that's so easy. And then what I do is I just repeat on the other side with this arm. As you can see here, I'm just trying to take off a little bit of the peach fuzz. And sometimes when you have your arm in the light, you can actually see the efficacy of it and where the peach fuzz is coming off. This is painless. You don't feel anything. Don't worry. And you know, you're just being very careful with this razor. Now you wanna replace these, I'd say once a month or so, because like normal razors that you might get in a traditional, traditional drugstore, they do actually um, get uh, a little bit dull too. So you wanna go ahead and replace them. Sometimes if they come four to a pack, you don't need to get any for a while, but then sometimes I'll buy two packs just to save myself the time. And uh, like I said, they're so inexpensive. So there now, so I've taken off the uh, extra peach fuzz that I might have on my arms. And I've also exfoliated a little bit of the skin while I was doing it as well. So therefore, it's just going to make that area even more soft and smooth and silky, you know, as we go. So now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I love to exfoliate my hands because I feel like that's the number one way to get rid of all the dead skin and it's gonna reveal just a nicer uh, new skin underneath. So what I'm gonna take is the Bo Bogavia Pure and Fresh Rejuvenating Hand Scrub. Now this is an amazing product because it restores youthful skin that is underneath. Now this is vegan, so that means it's pant plow, uh, powered and this, I love the smell. It's called Valencia Vanilla. And let me tell you, I'm just gonna pour a little dollop. All you really need is like a dime-sized amount on your hands. This product goes a long way. Now, Valen Valencia Vanilla, I'm just gonna tell you because I know you're out there and you can't smell it. Oh, it smells so good. It is like, I would say tangerines, and I know that's a Valencia, and then smooth, warm, kind of creamy vanilla. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. So it's kind of a thick product. And all you want to do, <clears throat> do you ladies out there, do you exfoliate? Let me know. All you want to do is you want to just rub the product 
over your hands. First, I just like to get the product all over my hands. Then I start really working the product <clears throat> into my hands. So as you can see, I am focusing on the top right now <clears throat> of my hands, because that's where I know a lot of people say, you can see, you know, wrinkling, dry skin, dead skin cells, dull skin, uh, sunspots. You know, you could see the beginnings of age here. So I think it's always important to really scrub there. And I like to run the exfoliant down my fingers. So you can see I'm going right down each finger on the top and the bottom. So you want to focus on your palms, which is the underside. And then you want to focus on the top because, you know, this area is where people can see and it has a tendency to get very, very dry. And so then I'm just taking this exfoliant and gently working down. This feels so good. And you know, I always say that this is so much of me time, right? It's taking the time to do this for yourself. This invigorates your skin. It encourages circulation. You know, it encourages circulation to this area. So you can start seeing the skin actually getting like a brighter, rosier, more youthful color. And um, it's just bringing blood to this area. This oxygenates this area. I think that it improves circulation. And when you improve circulation, a lot of times that helps with stiff joints. If you wake up with stiff joints, I guarantee when you do this and you rejuvenate this area, and you bring blood and oxygen to this area, it'll definitely make this, uh, your joints and your fingers, your wrists, everything feel better. Especially for you ladies that are on the computer a lot of the time. If you're on the computer working remotely or in the office and you're sitting there in one position and um, you're on the computer typing away, sometimes you need to take a break. And we'll do a little bit of massage for our hands after to show a way to rejuvenate them. Another place that I like to do this and I take the time is really in between your fingers right here. Because, you know, I don't know about you, but I use so much alcohol spray and I wash my hands a lot. So this area right here has a tendency to get really dry. And then on top of getting dry, if you don't exfoliate, you get a lot of like dead skin buildup. It's very easy to get this area very uh, too dry. So I like to take this exfoliant. Now this exfoliant has sea salt and um, that's what the scrubby part is. So it's very natural, it can't harm you. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the sea salt and I'm rubbing it in with my fingers. Now I feel like this side I've got a lot of dry skin. So I'm gonna focus in and I'm gonna rub right here to get rid of the dry skin. I can actually feel the dry skin coming off. And you know, if you're in the shower or if you're in the bath, I would do this towards the end because by then your skin has gotten so much softer and it's gonna be easier to exfoliate. So take the time for yourself and sit in that bath and kind of, you know, shut the world out, maybe light some candles, you know, turn the lights down, um, maybe have some soft music or just sit in silence if you want. You know, I put some essential oils in the bath, put a couple drops of lavender, a couple drops of chamomile, a couple drops of wild orange. And these are things that can soothe you, make you feel good. In the morning, if you need to be invigorated, put a couple of drops of peppermint in there or clove or cinnamon. And these are scents that can rejuvenate you and perk you up and wake you up for the morning. So anyway, so all I'm doing, as you see, is I am taking the time to really exfoliate. The longer you exfoliate, really scrub that dead skin off all your fingers. Another place that I like to do this is as you can see right here around the cuticle line of your fingers, 
I always like to go like this with my other hand and take the time to work through on each finger. I think that's very important too, because this will be smoother. And later on when we do our nails, this just gives a better foundation so you don't have jagged cuticles or dry cuticles. This is an area that can get super dry because, you know, as it is, we're always dunking our hands, doing dishes um, and uh, washing our hands. And, and every time you do that, I think it dries your hands out if you don't have time to put on a moisturizer. In the course of the day, I try to carry lotion with me now. Sometimes I forget. I try to leave it in the car. Sometimes I forget. So you know how it is. Um, so anyways, now I've completely exfoliated my hands and it feels so good. You know, that's another thing. It's just sit here, close your eyes, exfoliate and breathe. It's okay to do that. Just take the time to breathe. It feels wonderful. So in between fingers, as you can see what I'm doing here, in between your fingers, you want to just rub this exfoliant down here where the palm is. You may want to just exfoliate there. And now what we're going to do is I just want to, I'm going to, I have a bowl of water here. You would do this at home if you're in your bath or you're in your shower. But uh, for now, what I'm doing is I'm just rinsing my hands in a bowl of tepid water, or you can do this in the sink. Obviously, I don't, uh, I'm not going to the restaurant right now to wash my hands. And all I'm doing is removing the exfoliant off my hands. Now, the first thing that I notice right away is how soft and smooth immediately my hands feel. Not even doing this for the better part of five minutes my hands already feel better. So think of it, that's five minutes. I think that you guys can, for five minutes, be able to use an exfoliant and take care of yourself and feel better. And you will be rubbing your hands the whole day saying, oh, I can't believe my skin is so soft and why didn't I do this earlier? You know, just, just for yourself. You saw how fast that took. And what a big difference already, I can tell you. I'm just drying my hands right now. And then after I dry my hands, I'm just gonna show you already how much better they look. And then I can tell you, oh, how much better they feel. So now, I just exfoliated my hands. They feel baby soft. They feel so soft. They smell so fragrant. I can't even tell you. So what we're going to do now is because they are so soft and they're delicate and the new skin has been revealed, I'm just going to take the Bulgavia Pure and Fresh Firming Body Serum. Now this is a light serum. <coughs> Excuse me. This is not a heavy lotion. And I like it because some heavy lotions can make you feel greasy and they don't soak in and then I feel like I have to dry myself forever and then if you're driving you might slip off your steering wheel or if you're getting into bed you're going to slip off the sheets you know there's a lot of things I don't like about heavy heavy creams but this one is is light and I want to just go ahead and show you now it's got revitalizing peppermint in it now just to smell and tell you it's a light peppermint scent it's not too heavy and it feels very uh, natural. It's not artificial. And this is once again, plant powered. So it's vegan and it's uh, animal cruelty free, which is very important. So all I'd like to do is just, since I, I took off the peach fuzz on my arms, I like to rub this all the way down to my elbow too, because elbows and knees and heels can get dry and cracked and can look unsightly. So all I'm doing is just rubbing this lotion in and I can tell you right now, this Bogavia lotion already is soaking into my skin. I feel like already, I do not feel like it's, um, it's greasy. It feels like it's so lightweight. And once again, this would be another thing for you ladies, if you don't feel like you have time in the morning, well, it was five minutes to exfoliate and it's like one minute to put this lotion on and you don't have to wait for it to dry. So you can do this when like the kids are having breakfast or, you know, you can multitask, because I know all moms multitask anyways, especially in the morning. 
So it's so easy. So now this lotion, this Bulgavia lotion, is just soaking into my skin. I love the way it smells. And you know, that's another way that you can inhale the air, hold it in, and just push it out. You have fragrant essential oils or fragrant beauty products. I just love, it just, it, it just revitalizes me and rejuvenates me. Oh, I love it. Now, also, I just want to bring you to your attention. There's a Bulgavia Pure and Fresh Exfoliating Facial Scrub. Now, this matches the um, hand scrub. So maybe we can do this later. We'll actually show you at a different time the facial scrub and how to use it. And then we can do the hand scrub, too, so you can see it as sisters, sister products <laughs> they could use together. If you're in the shower, you could do your hand scrub and you put it on your feet. And then you could do the face scrub and put it on your face. And then do other things in the bath and shave and whatever, and then be able to take off your face scrub uh, to get the maximum benefit out of it. So then what I like to do after that is I have the Bogavia Pure and Fresh Elasticity Body Oil. Now, this is an amazing body oil. And what I like about it is it's light and it's fresh and it doesn't feel like it's, it's that heavy, which I, I'm so happy about. So this has um, revitalizing peppermint in it as well. So I'm just going to put a couple of dollops on it. And I know people say, oh, I don't like using body oil, Candace, because I feel like it is too greasy. It doesn't soak into my skin. I don't like the way it feels. Um, and I feel like it just sits on top of everything. Well, I'm guaranteeing you right now, because as I can feel it, as you can see, I have this lovely sheen on my skin, but um, it's already soaked in. It's already soaked in, so I feel like I don't even feel like I have anything on me right now. It's wonderful. And I feel like it's already gone. That's how simple that is. And as you can see, my hands already feel so much better. Now, what I thought we would do is actually work a little bit on a massage. Because, you know, I think the massage is so important. It's something that we can do for other people. It's something that maybe you can do for your significant other or an older family member. There's so many people, your kids, and, and oh, so much I, I try to emphasize the self, that if you can take time to do stretching, uh, which I do several times a day, and I start very early in the day on a yoga mat, and then I leave the yoga mat out and every opportunity, even if I come home for a moment, I know I'm gonna stretch at night. And then in the middle of the day, if I can stretch, I will. But if you don't even have time for that, sometimes I have to get up very, very early and um, I end up stretching my hands in the car. So you ladies, as I was saying earlier, if you're you know, waiting to pick up your kids from school or maybe class, maybe dance class or sports or musical class, whatever you're doing, if you have a couple moments um, and you're sitting in the car, five, 10, 15 minutes, it doesn't matter, uh, you can definitely do these stretching exercises and the massage exercises for your hands and your forearms that are just gonna make you feel better. And uh, you'll be surprised how this is gonna oxygenate the area that we massage and oxygenate the area that you stretch. It's gonna bring blood to this area, uh, oxygen. It's gonna revitalize the skin. You'll start to see it change colors to like a rosier pink and how it'll feel so much better for you. And these, the, the long lasting feelings of it will be better. Uh, overall, you will end up feeling it um, for the course of the day. So one of the first things that I like to do, how many of you know the splits? No, I'm not going to ask you to do the splits. I think a lot of us just can't do the splits, myself included. I'm not going to ask you to do the splits, but do you know um, what the splits look like when you're doing the splits with your legs? So um, all I am going to do is basically, I feel like I'm going to do the splits with my fingers, as you can see. So what I'm trying to do is take the fingers and move them 
in opposite directions. So the corresponding finger it, to the one that's going up is going down. And I like to hold this and breathe. So hold this position, then take a deep breath, hold the air, and push the air out. Now I'm just going to take the corresponding finger that was up and I'm going to push it down and I'm going to push the down finger up and breathe. Now you're going to feel a stretch close to where the two fingers meet and that's good. Don't push beyond what you feel and, and you know how your body feels and you know how far you can, you can stretch. Now the next two fingers, the same thing. I'm just going to kind of do the splits with my fingers and stretch them. Sometimes I use the palm of the other hand and then I switch the two fingers. Now I can really feel it and I love it. I, I can feel the, the tension that's there and the release. If you guys do finger stretches and exercises, please leave a comment in the comment section. I'd love to hear. And if you'd like to join with me right now and do these exercises, uh, you'll be surprised at the difference that you'll feel. So I really like to push as much as I can. Now, I know a lot of you may not be able to stretch your finger initially this much, you know, to be able to stretch it out, as you can see, like this, and to the other side as well. And I just like to go down each finger, moving and stretching each one up and down. Now, sometimes I like to use a hard surface so I'm going to use a book right now too, and I can show you how you can actually use a book as a hard surface or the ground as a hard surface. So this was the ground, so you guys can see, I'm going to stretch here and use it to stretch my fingers out. Or if this was a side, you can use it to stretch your fingers out here. And the closer that you can get to smoothing your fingers out and minimizing the space between this book and your fingers, the better. But once again, do not push yourself. Know your body, listen to your body. And if, it, if you feel like it's too much, don't. And I like to also take my thumb because I don't want to ignore my thumb. My thumb is my finger. And I like to pull it back this way as much as I can and to slowly hold it. Relax this part of the hand completely. Relax this part of the hand and pull the thumb closer to my arm. Now, I'm gonna take my thumb, I release it slowly, I can do all these motions slow, I do not have to rush, and I take this thumb and I push it all the way down to my hand right here. Can you see it? Ideally, you want to be able to touch there. Once again, if you can't, it's no worry. Just take a deep breath. Relax this part of the hand. Relax your face. Relax. Breathe. And slowly release it. Now, let's do the same. I, this feels so much better now already. I feel like I have more fl flexibility, more mobility. I feel like my hands are not stiff. You know, it's still very early here in Los Angeles because we're coming to you live from the Sway TV house on an early Monday morning. So if you guys want to leave questions or comments, please do. But you know, like I was saying earlier, a lot of times in the morning, how many of you, leave me a comment, how many of you guys wake up stiff in the morning? I do. I always wake up stiff. And one of the first things I like to do is get out the yoga mat, which I do every morning, unless I'm up super early. But, um, and I like to stretch. Because even five or 10 minutes in the morning of stretching can make a huge difference, can't it? In your whole day. If that's all you get in the morning because you're so busy for five or 10 minutes, that's fine. And that's fine, that's five or 10 minutes that you've had for yourself, right? And that's so important. Now, I can feel this side being more energized, more vitalized. I can feel the oxygen going through. And especially, and because we also, because we um, were able to use the exfoliant too, that helped beginning to get the blood flowing and the blood circulating in our hands. So for all those people out there that say that you can judge a woman's age by her hands, we're going to defy that, right? 
All right, ladies. So now let's go ahead and try our other hand too. Now this hand, we just sent some exercises. I'm just starting with my fingers. It's very simple. All I wanna do is I call them like finger splits. I just wanna stretch my fingers out. I'm trying to push this finger up and this finger down. And by doing this, I feel like I'm just stretching the area. I'm oxygenating the area. And when I hold it to the point where I, I feel is comfortable for me with a little bit of tension, I just like to take a deep breath. I take a deep breath and I let it out. And I feel like I'm oxygenating, bringing oxygen to this area, stimulating this area by doing the stretch. And then I'm just gonna switch the fingers. So the one that was up, I'm pushing down. The one that was down, I am pushing up. And I apply light pressure on both. But once again, you know your body, you know how you feel. Do not overdo it, especially if this is your first time. And you know, go to the next finger. You might not be able to stretch your fingers out a lot the first time, and that's fine. Because I think the great thing about stretching is we're not competing with anybody, are we? And I think in this world today, everything seems to be based on competition, doesn't it? Everything seems to be based on competition and winning and uh, being number one. And when you're stretching, that's one thing where you're not competing against anybody. There's no pressure in that regards. Let all that go, shake that off. And it's really just about you. This is just making you feel better, helping you feel better. And not, it's not about winning. It's instead, it's about if you feel better, you can actually give more to other people and help them feel better too. There's nothing wrong with competition and there's nothing wrong with winning, but I think sometimes, you know, we get our values uh, out of whack. You've got to look at the pers big things on the whole with your um, perspective on that. So anyway, so now I've stretched and like I said, I'm going to show you again. You can just take a book. So if this was the ground, this is another thing I like to do if I can use a desk or a table, even a chair. And all I like to do is I use this to be able to stretch my fingers, I use the leverage of um, the floor, as you can see. And all I'm doing is stretching my fingers. And so actually you can see right here too, I can do it. On this camera, I can show you how I'm going to be stretching my fingers close up by using a table. It is so easy. And this is something if you are at work, so you can see my hand now. Now, if you're at work, you can go ahead and um, use this. So here's my hand. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch down, push down on this finger. But you know, do this at your own speed. And another thing that I think is important is don't push too hard initially. You don't wanna push down too hard. You just want to push down what you know, what your body is telling you. And then in between pushing down on these fingers and relaxing them, relaxing all the other arms, all these other fingers are loose. Then I like to breathe, hold in the oxygen, and push it out. So now just move these fingers. I want to do each finger, so I'm starting on the baby finger right now, and then I'll go to the ring finger next. But once, upon, once again, there's, there's no rush to this. You can do as many fingers as you have time for, or you can really take time with it. A lot of times, um, like I said, if you are sitting there at your desk, uh, whether you have a stand-up desk, whether you have a sit-down desk, and you may be working remotely or you may be working still in the office to be able to take the time to really stretch out your hands, stretch out your fingers because that brings circulation to the area. It loosens the muscles, loosens the joints. And especially for us who may wake up and have stiff uh, joints, 
you know, stiff fingers or stiff hands because you've worked, you know, eight to 10 hours on the computer every day. That's a lot of us. I, I know that's me. Sometimes I spend all day on the computer without realizing it, you know, because time just goes by so fast. And then don't forget your thumb. I always say it's really important to stretch out that thumb. Sometimes just use the joint to twist this area to go ahead and stretch. And once again, remember, this is loose. You know, this part of your hand is really loose still. All the fingers should be loose. Nothing should be tight. And then you can bend your hand all together. I think it's really important to bend. So you take all these fingers, spread them out, and take a breath. Hold it. And release. You know, I'm really enjoying spending this time with you this morning. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for spending this morning, this Monday morning, the beginning of the week with us here at Sway TV. And you know, we are coming to you live from the Sway TV house here in almost sunny Los Angeles, California. So leave a comment in the comment section and tell me where you are. You know, what are you guys doing today? How was your weekend? What did you do? You know, if you did nothing this weekend, don't feel guilty about it either. Because I think that sometimes it's good just to relax, take your time. Sometimes I spend hours in my bathrobe and my flip-flops. I don't think twice about it. And I also said, you know, earlier that it's important if you want to take a, a nap on the weekend, you know, please do. Take that time for yourself. And as I said, here we are, we're stretching our hands. You can see us stretching our hands. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other hand and just show you because you haven't seen uh, this view. I'm just going to stretch my fingers. And then after um, I stretch my fingers, then I'll show you a little bit of the massage that I do to really invigorate the area. And once again, it doesn't take long at all. Oh my goodness, this is, this is something that you could do on the kitchen counter if you needed to. Or you can do it at the table, or you can do it at your computer, you know, your workstation. And even if you're working remotely and then you're in a cubicle, you can sit and take the time and use your desk, right? Five minutes. This is so simple. And it's such a great way. See now, as you can see, I'm really kind of just trying to pull this part up. So there we go. So you want to pull that up because by if it's down this way, you don't get as much uh, of an effect. If you take the time and slowly work your way to be able to pull your arm up like this, then you can really feel the full benefit of the stretch. But once again, don't overdo it. And you can see my hands are getting a little bit pink. I think that's great. I'm oxygenating the area. I'm being, bringing blood flow to this area. I'm stressing the area out a little bit, but in a good way, because you want to be able to feel that stretch. This is just kind of like doing the splits with your hands, right? I kind of like to rock it back and forth. I like to just put a little bit of pressure because you want to be able to, like I said, in a positive way to stress the area out. It feels so good. Then I switch up. So the other fingers get the same benefit. And once again, take your time, you know, because if you get three fingers done, that's something. If you get one finger done, that's something. It's better than nothing. And you can do this in the car. Now, if you don't have a table, say you're sitting in the car and you want to be able to stretch your hands, uh, it's very easy. Um, you can just use your other hand and I'll show you here. I like to stretch out my fingers here. Now, a lot of you may not get as much stretch as I do on my hands. I've just been doing this such a long time, but you want to slowly work your hands to be able to stretch your fingers apart slowly. And you can do this, like, like I said, if you're waiting for your kids in the car uh, to get out of school, here we go. And I always say, you know, um, don't forget that thumb, you know, because the thumb is also a finger. So you want to be able to stretch it. You want to take your time to be able to breathe. 
and you can see here where I am stretching my thumb down and touching it right here. And then I'm bringing that thumb back. I'm pulling that thumb back and taking the time, just letting it, you know, this should all be loose. This is all loose. Let it, let it breathe. Let all that breathe. There we go. It feels so much better. Now what I like to do is now that I've kind of stretched out my hands, let's work our wrists. And breathe and take the time to work our wrists in a clockwise and I can switch it. Let's go counterclockwise. You know, because we do so much workout, you know, take the time for this part of your body because I think all of us are on the computer how many hours a day? Or, you know, we're on the phone how many hours a day we're on our phones? And sometimes I feel like we cramp our hands up because of this. And then we wonder, why are my hands, my fingers, my joints so stiff in the morning? Why is it feeling, you know, so tight? And uh, you may experience kind of um, right here, this area here, you may experience swelling, you know, because you just haven't taken the time to stretch your fingers and stretch your joints out. So now what I'm going to work on is a little bit of massage that once again, you know, you can do this at any time during the day. And, you know, you can also do this um, uh, if you're riding in a car. You know, if you're waiting for somebody, uh, if you're taking a moment, I say you have a 15 minute break in the break room at work, you know, any time that you have that's extra, uh, I would always take the time to take care of myself. Even if you feel like, oh, I don't have time to exercise. I don't have time to stretch. I don't have time to do any of this. Um, you know, it's so easy. So now what I'm gonna show is basically, I'm gonna take one hand and I'm going to massage my hand. So I'm starting here and I'm just going to slowly massage my palm. Now this feels so good. Oh my goodness. And I'm continuing to breathe through this. This muscle right here, I feel like we use all the time, don't we? We use it on the computer, we use it while we're driving. It's just so nice to be able to massage cooking you know, massaging this, this muscle out. Then I extend up to this finger. I like to really rub this finger, apply pressure up and down the muscles of this finger. And now I'm gonna go down the middle of my palm right here. And you wanna just like feel this energy. And I'm gonna push this all the way up to the tip of my ring finger. Oh, let's see. Elsie, thank you so much for following. That's awesome. Thank you. Do you have a stretch for trigger finger? I have it in my thumb. Trigger finger. I'm not sure. Would you explain to me what is trigger finger? I do um, talk about stretching your thumb, and I think what's really important is that you've got to start off slow and take your time. Uh, I apply light pressure each time because I do want to challenge myself. And I also want to a little bit stress the area out because the point of the stretch is to really pull past a little bit of what you feel comfortable. So what I like to do with my thumb a lot of times is, um, well, first off, I feel like this is included in the thumb, right? So I like to apply pressure here, as you can see. And I push all this energy out to the end of the thumb. And as you can see right here, my thumb is getting a little bit red and that's good because what I'm doing is I'm circulating the blood in this area. The massage is stimulating this area and I'm bringing blood down to this area. So by bringing blood down into this area, I'm oxygenating it. So if you have like um, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, stiffening of the joints, especially in the winter time, because you know, it's December right now, at least in the States, it's, it's cold. Um, where are you right now, Elsie? 
because uh, if you're in the winter, a lot of times you may feel and find your joints getting even uh, stiffer and um, uncomfortable, especially in the morning when you wake up. I would encourage you to take a little bit of time, five minutes or 10 minutes uh, to yourself throughout the day and massage this area like you said, like you have in the thumb. And then I would take the time to challenge yourself with this thumb. Uh, and while you're breathing, I like to pull the thumb back. Just gently. And as you can see, the thumb is getting a little bit red. I'm challenging the thumb. And a little bit of stress is good. And um, I don't try to overdo it, of course, but I like to work on this thumb and I can move it in a little bit of a, a clockwise action. And then after I hold it and I breathe, then I try to challenge my thumb in the other direction, which is I very slowly, very slowly move the thumb. And then I bring it down this way and try to bring it towards my wrist. And as you can see here, it is touching the wrist. The rest of the hand should be very loose. Take the time to make sure that these four other fingers, you want to relax these fingers. You know, and as I say, while you're doing this, take the time to focus on relaxing your face, relax your jaw, relax your ears, um, and just relax everything. The only thing that you're applying a little bit of stress to and you're challenging is this thumb. And the rest of your body, you should focus on relaxing your joints, your neck, so as you can see, it's a little bit red, that's good. So I very carefully loosen it. And then I'm going to apply massage. And I like to really push in with my thumb all the way to the end here. And what I'm doing is I'm oxygenating, I'm kind of rejuvenating this area. Another area here I like to roll over and I will pinch this area here like shiatsu, which is like, you know, really digging in with the thumb. And I like to squish this area right here. And then I'll go down the fingers all the way down to the ends. Starting at the top here, I rub, I feel like there's three sides right here. So I like to rub the three sides and then rub down to the end. And I do this on all my fingers. I think it just makes your, uh, your joints feel so much better, doesn't it? Because I feel like this is an area that we use over our, we use our hands so many times throughout the course of the day, but we don't really take care of them a lot of times. We just assume they're gonna be good to go forever. And um, this really helps with I feel the joint stiffness that you may have, uh, especially all of us being on the computer as much as we are. And for those of us who play sports, you want to keep your hands as agile as possible. Go all the way down to the ends of the fingers right here. If you guys have any questions or comments regarding, you know, massage and stretching and hand mobility, you know, finger, de finger dexterity, you know, please let me know. Uh, I would love to hear any uh, questions that you may have in regards to this. So all I'm doing is going all the way down my fingers and then paying attention to the palm size. You can see there's so many muscles that are here in the hands. And what you want to do is I'm just going to take the time to revitalize my hand, uh, being good to it, you know, being good to myself and taking this time. Like, you know, you can take bits and pieces, even if you get, you know, five minutes in the day of getting to massage your hand at your desk when you're working and hydrate and have a uh, take the time to drink an eight ounce, ounce glass of water and hydrating, clearing your mind, not having to be on that Zoom meeting. Oh, let's see. Trigger finger is a defect in a tendon causing a finger to jerk or snap straight when the hand is extended. I live in Wisconsin. Ah, Wisconsin, so you're freezing right now. So tell me about that. How are your hands feeling in the cold? I find personally 
that uh, when I wake up because of the cold, my, my joints and my hands feel kind of stiff. And it takes me a while for it to really get going. Um, and I feel like the best thing, and maybe for you too, um, I can research a, a trigger finger, is to really, I would say, um, bring oxygen to this area and to also do take the time to massage and also stretch gently this area. So maybe applying a little bit of good tension in, in that area is good to um, challenge it, to make it stronger. Um, and I also like to, like I said, massage and, um, and do my stretches. Because I think a lot of us, uh, of us don't pay attention to this area in general for your hands. Um, I feel like my joints feel swollen in the morning, every single morning. And I feel like I have to do this to kind of get them even to square one. And I'd be curious to see um, what you see, say, Elsie, like what do you do really to get your hands mobile and feeling good every morning? I like to pull back. Um, I would say massage is really important because maybe what you want to do is challenge that ligament a little bit um, to stretch it out. So that's what I'm doing right here. And what I mean by challenging it is you know because of the way you feel and you understand your own body, I wouldn't challenge it to a point where it's, it could be damaged, but definitely just to feel a little bit of tension is good. Like when I lift my finger up and the other ones are down. So I want to feel a little bit of tension here. And I do feel a little bit of uh, uh, tension on the ligaments, but I think it, it's good to be able to do that. Never going past uh, what I feel would be too much. And I found the more I do this, like any part of the body, the more limber I become. It just takes time. And once again, I'm not in competition with anybody, right? This is not a competition with anybody else. This is just time for yourself. And... Um, you can challenge yourself for your flexibility and your mobility, but for you, I think that it takes the pressure off, doesn't it? In such a competitive world, you know, we always feel like we have to compete in everything that we do in sports and activities and this and that and at work and, oh, just even on social media, I, I think it's crazy, right? But to be able to stretch, and um, take this time for yourself to really stimulate these areas of your body that a lot of times we neglect because we're always thinking we've got to stretch our legs and our arms that we start here. Start at this uh, smaller level with your hands. I think it's so important to be able to stretch. So now what I'm gonna do for you who are not here before, what I like to do too is moisturize. So I'm gonna use the Bogavi, I'm gonna put it down here, Pure and Fresh Firming Body Serum, which I love. Uh, this is plant powered and um, it smells like peppermint. It's got revitalizing peppermint, but it's not a heavy, heavy peppermint scent, which I like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put, it's a light lotion. And I like to apply it onto my hands. And before I stretch, I always, I'm just applying it down my arms. Uh, before I stretch, I always suggest putting on a lotion or a body oil just because it makes it easier for uh, your hands to stretch them and massage them because they simply just don't feel dry. So I like to put this on here. And you know what I like about this uh, Bulgavia Pure and Fresh Firming Body Serum is that it's light. It's not too heavy. So I don't feel like I'm going to slide off maybe my desk at work if I put my elbow down. It's just, it just soaks in. And then now Bulgavia also makes a Pure and Fresh Elasticity Body Oil, which I'll show you, which I love. Now this body oil is so light also, and it's got the same revitalizing peppermint, which I like, and it's got chlorella, sea kelp, ginger, uh, and it's got pe the pomegranate seed oil. So all I need is, literally this will last forever because you just need one dollop. And it's a light oil. A lot of people are like, Candace, I don't want to use oil because I feel like it's too greasy. It doesn't soak into my skin. You know, it's it just, feels like suntan oil, and this does not. This just absolutely soaks into your skin, and it leaves a light, fresh um, smell to it. The scent is the peppermint, 
And then also I feel like, as you see here, it leaves a little bit of sheen. I don't know if you can see it, a little bit of a sheen on my skin, which I love. So now I have this really nice soft area. Also, because we use the Bogavia uh, hand scrub, my hands are really primed to be able to massage them. See, my hand just kind of slides and glides over my fingers. And I encourage everybody, if you have issues with your hands, muscles, tendons, joints, to take the time to be good to them. I can't tell you how much of a difference it makes for me to work on my hands because I feel like every single morning um, I, I wake up with stiff joints. And um, this really, it kind of brings them to life. In the morning, as you can see, I'm just gently applying slight pressure to fingers to be able to make them almost like they're, they're doing the splits here. This really helps the joints and it helps my fingers. And um, you know, you would be surprised if you do this one day, how you feel. And then if you take the time to do this for a week and then tell me how you feel after, I guarantee you will feel better uh, because I myself do this all the time. And this is something that you can do any place. I mean, you can do this, like I said, when you're waiting for your kids at dance class or um, if they've got sports on the weekends. This is not something that you need a lot of, uh, uh, like you don't need a yoga mat, you don't need a yoga bag, you don't need any other um, tools or implements, you don't need weights, uh, you don't need rubber bands, you don't even need a jump rope. All you need to do is use yourself to use resistance. There's no resistance bands involved because you're using your own hands as resistance to be able to massage them. Now, the, one of the other things that I like to do, and I'm just going to do right here to show you, is um, I like to apply a light colored nail polish, and I'm real specific about saying light, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, I read about studies, and studies have shown that um, what people perceive to be youthful versus older, subconsciously, they said that the lighter colors uh, evoke a sense of youth on somebody's hand and also shorter nails. Now, whatever you take to heart with that is, is uh, your own thing. I'm, I'm not saying wear short hand, hand, nails and lighter nail polish. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that um, I was reading studies uh, before I came here today, and they were saying that shorter nails that are um, square uh, or oval and um, not pointy and also nail color that is a lighter color evokes the sense of youth. So if you, because today we're talking about, you know, youthful hands, pretty, pretty hands and feet and not being able to tell a woman's age with her hands, I brought today a lighter color, but you know, sometimes I use darker colors too, it doesn't matter. And um, this is kind of like a light lavender pink, pinky, pinky color, which would be nice for upcoming fall, definitely. And all I like to do is I don't put a lot of coats on. They say if you put two coats on, it's good. If you put three or more, sometimes it has a tendency to chip more. Uh, so it could chip faster. And um, this is just for an example. You can get gel nails. Gel nails, I, I've i tried them and I do like them, but after a while, I feel like my nail gets thin, even though they say it doesn't. That's my experience. And I just like to paint uh, like a light peachy color. This is a kind of pinky, purpley color. Tell me what you guys like on your nails. Uh, if you have another color that you prefer. And like I said, other colors, other nail lengths, it's all great. I love it. And sometimes I even wear black nail polish. But um, just for the purposes of today, we're talking about what um, studies have shown is that people prefer for youth a lighter color and a shorter nail, and they associate longer nails that have more color or darker color with older hands. So um, just as a you know point of reference there. So I'm just putting on a light pinky color, and I usually myself just to like to put on two coats. So I've trimmed my nails before I got here, 
just to make it easier and faster. And now I'm just letting them dry for a second. So I like to dry a little bit in between two coats. And I think two coats are ideal because um, it just makes the surface look smoother. And uh, later on, if we decide to do a, a more nail intensive uh, uh, class, we'll do like a base coat, the color, the top coat, and um, we can clip the nails, file the nails, work on the cuticles. We'll do all that kind of stuff and, and soaking the hands. But today it was more really about uh, the cleaning of the hands and exfoliating them, moisturizing them, and then taking really good care of your hands. And, and taking good care of your hands to me is so important whether you choose to put color on your nails or not. You may not put anything on your nails and that's fine, but um, taking the time to stretch out your hands and making sure that you um, take care of them in the way that they feel, because these hands have got to last you a lifetime, right? And you don't want to be in discomfort, so you want to be able to stretch them out, uh, you know, challenge them a little bit uh, each and every day, just like you would other parts of your body, you know, for like uh, people do cardio for your heart and your lungs. You stretch out your legs, you stretch out your arms, your neck, your joints. So why not your hands uh, and your feet? Because today we're talking about taking some of these techniques that we learned today and being able to use them uh, on your feet, exfoliating your feet in the shower, when was the last time you did that for yourself? When was the last time you took the time to exfoliate your, your heels, you know, to be able to smooth and renew your heels so you're soft, they're touchable. You know, get, get a pedicure or paint your own nails, you know, your own toenails are pretty color, um, just for yourself. It's not even that other people have to uh, see that or appreciate that, even though most certainly they do. But uh, even just take the time for yourself to be able to feel good. So now what we're going to do, as you can see here, is we're going to take one more coat. Uh, I apply a, a thicker coat on the second coat. I consider the first coat just getting the color on, you know. And then I just take a second coat and I put a nice pink second coat on my nails. This is great. And just once again on the other side, I just put the nails, another coat. Now also later, which I, I'm not doing today, but you can touch it up with um, nail polish remover on the sides. If you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. And that's what I like about nail polish. Nail polish is fun. It's not like getting a tattoo. It's not something that's permanent. I mean, so what if you wear black nail polish? You can take it off, you know? It's not the end of the world and it's not permanent by any means. And what I love about it is all you need to do is to just take nail polish remover. So if you make a mistake, it's no big whoop, don't have a cow. And so all I'm doing now is I'm just letting my nails dry. So you guys tell me about your day. What are you going to do today? It's Monday morning. You've got a whole week ahead of you. Do you have great plans? What are some of your goals? I always say I want to start out with a goal per day, even if it's small, and try to accomplish um, one of my goals. Even like this weekend, serious, it was cleaning out the big closet. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to tackle it. But you know what? We did it. I'm so thankful because now I'm organized this morning and I can find stuff. My partner can find stuff and we're able to not get tangled up in clothing in the morning, rushing, throwing stuff out of the closet, trying to find it. You know, where's this shirt? Where's this sweater? Oh, it's right here. So uh, that was a small goal. Just little things like cleaning out the fish tank. So <laughs> tell me, what are some of your big goals today? What are your small goals? What are your, some of your big goals for the week? You know, this is the beginning of a week of what I say is opportunity. It's a week of opportunity, not a week of, oh my gosh, it's Monday. <gasps> when is it going to be Friday? It shouldn't be that way because you've got to do stuff for yourself, even if you're working for somebody else and that time is devoted to another thing. Um, think of the small things that you want to accomplish to move your goals and your life forward um, and then to into the weekend and some of the fun things too. A friend of mine said before, he said, uh, you always have to uh, plan in a little tidbit for yourself. You have to plan in a prize. 
And that could be a small thing or that could be a big thing. And uh, I think it's important to plan something fun and good throughout the week and something fun to look forward to on the weekend um, to enjoy life, you know? One of my things is I'm going to uh, hopefully get to read this, the rest of my Pursuit of Beauty, which has been a really fun book, and I, w I want to finish that um, this weekend. So I'm excited about that. Um, and uh, so tell me what you guys are doing. So now we're just letting our nails dry, as you can see. If you guys have any questions or comments and you've just joined in, we're coming to you live from the Sway TV house here in sunny Los Angeles, California on Sway TV. And you know, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that follow button and follow us here for terrific programming. We've got fun hosts and great shows. And you know, if you want to see some of the past episodes that you might have missed, no problem, no whoop. Just go to SwayTV.com, that's Sway T, oh, excuse me, SwayReplay.com, that's SwayReplay.com to catch all of your favorite past episodes. It's so much fun. And did you know that we actually have a Sway TV podcast too? That's right. We've got a Sway TV podcast that you could hear on Amazon Music. So whether you're here live with us today, like right now, um, or you listen to the podcast on Amazon Music, or you look at the replays at swayreplay.com. Don't forget to check the carousel because there's awesome, amazing things in the carousel uh, that just make your life easier. They're just fun products and, and they can improve your life a little bit, uh, help you set goals, help you achieve those goals. There's some great workout equipment that I saw that we're gonna be bringing you some fun beauty items, some great tech items for 2021, just things to make your life better, right? And so the hosts have taken their time to find some stuff that they really use and that they love and some you know great go-to items that they have used over and over and over again that they'd like to share with you. So yeah, and we're live at the Sway TV house. So go ahead and leave some comments. Um, because they're live, any questions or comments that you might have over what we did today, uh, please let me know. If you have any comments about what you might wanna do or what you might wanna see later on, beauty products that you would like demonstrated, um, questions that you might have, exercise routines that you might want to see that you can uh, participate along with in live time because we are coming to you live. Please let us know. Leave a question in the comment section. So as you can see here, now uh, I have 10 nails that are painted a light, kind of a pinky purple color. It's one of my favorite colors. Uh, here's the nail polish right here, just so you can see the color that I chose for today. It doesn't have to be this color, but um, as I was saying, studies were showing that statistically, uh, people that see shorter nails versus longer nails and a lighter color versus a darker color perceive the hand to be youthful or more youthful than a longer nail with a dark color. So, but whatever color you want, I mean, sometimes I, like I said, I have black nails. It doesn't matter, but just for today's purposes, um, cause we're talking about youthful looking hands that, uh, this is what people would say would be a more youthful looking hand than a darker color. And um, what I like to do too, is uh, I constantly like to use body scrubs, maybe once or twice a week. And I like to uh, use lotions. And um, sometimes I use a thicker lotion. Today we used a light body serum and a body oil, but you can choose to use a heavier cream if you want to, especially if you feel like your skin is super dry you might want to use a heavier cream than what we did today, and that's fine. Um, but if you can just see, because I used a body oil, uh, I feel like there's a little bit of a sheen. I don't know if you guys can see it on my arm and on my hands. And what we did too is um, we chose to uh, use a Japanese and Asian uh, beauty razor that I'm going to show you. And by doing this, it's only a couple of dollars. And I think it's such a great steal of a deal. And what I did was I gently took off a little bit of what I consider the peach fuzz that can be on your arms 
can be on your forums and can be a little bit distracting. And because of that, I just went ahead and did that. It took a couple of seconds, uh, just first thing in the morning. And what I like about it too is these are all things that are steps, right? These are all steps and they don't take very long. So if you can do one step in the morning and you, then you're too busy, it's okay. Uh, use the, the, the beauty razor and get rid of the fuzzies, you know? And then your next step later on in the day could be putting on lotion. And the next step, you know, could be stretching your fingers and your hands when you're in the car, you know, waiting for, for your kids to come out from school. Then the next step at the end of the day could be that you get to paint your nails. And sometimes I've been so busy, I know this sounds crazy, what I've actually done is I've done one coat of nail polish, let it dry, and then five hours later I've come home and put on the second coat because I've had to run out the door and I just like, I simply don't have enough time. But that's okay because by the end of the day, somehow I have managed to get all of this done. So now you can see my nails and see my hands. So we have a light nail that's been painted and it's, um, I would say it's a shortish length. And we have um, smooth hands because we exfoliated. And then we put on a light lotion. We put on a body oil. And then we put, uh, we massaged our hand. And then we stretched our fingers, stretched our thumb. We, we stretched our wrists. And then we massaged our hands, massaged all the way down our arms. We took care of our elbows. And this is all about, I'd say, just taking care of yourself, right? Because I think if you take care of yourself, you uh, have much more time to be able to give to somebody else, you know? So before I go today, I just want to remind you very soon, we're going to be talking to beauty expert Vince Spinato and his book, is uh, My Pursuit of Beauty. So he is a beauty phenom here in, in Hollywood and he's a celebrity beauty stylist. And what he loves to do is talk about beauty and, and um, quick little tips for you ladies out there. But also, you know, he talks about uh, a lot of real life stuff, like his challenges that he's had to go through in his life, that he's basically come full circle. And um, he's talking a lot about the challenges that he had in his life to get him to where he is today from childhood to here. So I know you guys are going to love to hear about him. So anyway, stay tuned because we're going to be interviewing him live shortly. Thank you so much for spending this time with me, you guys, this morning. I hope you have a wonderful week. It's Monday morning. Have a wonderful time. It is your choice. Remember, I love you all and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow Sway TV. Follow Sway right here. Ooh, it's this way, sorry. <laughs> Corey says, thank you, Sway TV. Shakira says, thank you, Sway. Yes, guys, it is so much fun. We love Sway TV. So grateful for you guys and for Sway TV. We'll see you soon. Until then, let's sway. 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 Let's sway! 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 Let's sway!